Hello everybody. So today we have a uh, Form Ishka video um, as part of SFI's uh, National Science Week and it's going to be on the curious chemistry of water. So I'm Professor John Stevens from Minute University so I'm going to talk you through some of this fascinating chemistry of water. So water is a very simple molecule in that it has three atoms in it, an oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms and you can see it's structure here okay so we can use some chemistry to split this water molecule up into the hydrogen uh, and the oxygen okay so quite simply we have a water here with some table salt your sodium chloride in it and if we just drop in our 9 volt battery you'll see all the hydrogen gas bubbling off one of the electrodes and a little bit of oxygen gas bubbling off the second electrode and you can see there's much more hydrogen gas being produced than oxygen but that makes sense because we have two hydrogen atoms for every one oxygen atom. Now water is a polar molecule and you can see it has a little negative charge on the oxygen and some positive charges on the hydrogen and this polarity is very important uh, for water it helps it dissolve uh, other polar molecules um, and that can be a good thing when it dissolves things like salt or sugar uh, to give us sugary drinks that we like to drink um, and it can be a bad thing I suppose when it dissolves pollutants um, and some of the things that get dissolved in water are acids and bases and it's very important for the environment and for the planet that water has um, a stable pH so the pH is a measure of the acidity or basicity of water so in our oceans um, the pH of the water is about 8 and that's, that's pretty much in the middle. So the pH range goes from 1, which is very acidic, up to 7, which is neutral, and up to 14, which is very basic. So for our oceans, it's around 8, and that's perfect, and we want it to stay around that. Um, but we do have this phenomenon now of ocean acidification, where it's getting more and more acidic. Um, and that's a problem for wildlife, for the fish, for the shellfish, and so on that's in there. So we'll talk a little bit about acidity and basicity here. So this is a, a beaker of water and we all recognize that. Here we have a beaker uh, that has dissolved some basic material in it and this is just simply washing soda that you can get in the shops. Um, so it looks like normal water to us but uh, if it's very basically that it's quite polluted and we can't see that but the fish and the wildlife and so on can feel and sense that and it can be very toxic for them. But we can do a small chemical reaction here, we have a little indicator here. And if we put in a few drops of this indicator, it should go bright pink. And that shows us that it's polluted, really, with basic material. You can see that there quite readily. So that shows water how good it is at dissolving base. Something simple like washing soda from the shops. Here we have another solution. And again, it looks just like water. But this is actually acidified. And we've acidified this with vinegar. Again, something from the shops. And you can't see that. But again, the wildlife will know all about that. They'll struggle to survive in an acidic medium like that. And we can test for that using a simple chemical test using what we call blue litmus paper. So this is blue litmus paper, it's blue in colour, but if we dip it in this solution, it should go red if it's acidic. And it goes that red pink colour, you can see that. Yeah? So that's polluted with acidic. Um, and again, we want to avoid that happening to our, our lakes, our rivers and our oceans. Okay, so water is good at dissolving things, and that means it can help chemical reactions to happen. And one of the reactions we might see in, 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 in water is if our oceans become acidified, that acidic environment is not good for shellfish and so on, where that acid can react with the carbonates and so on in the shells of the shellfish. And we can mimic that a bit in the chemistry lab here, where we have um, a solution of baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate, which you can get in the shops. And if I put a little bit of this baking soda into a test tube here, you can do that. Put a bit more in. Like so. Again, it just looks like normal water. And if we get some of our vinegar and we drop that in, what you'll see is this acid reacting with the base. And that can happen between the acidic oceans and the shellfish and so on. And what we'll see is the product of that reaction is carbon dioxide bubbling off. So if we just put in a little drop of vinegar, we should be able to see, so we can see the coil, that's bubbling off, so that's an acid-base reaction happening 
right there. So one of the causes of this uh, ocean acidification and the acidification of, of rainwater is the dissolving of carbon dioxide. And the water in our oceans are a, a sink for this carbon dioxide and we need to be very careful of this uh, into the future. So that was a short video of some of the fascinating chemistry and curious chemistry of water. Um, it's an intriguing molecule for us chemists, but it's also essential for life on this planet. So it's very important that we value it and mind it into the future. Thank you.